We're joined with Nicole Mallet from Art at the Centre. So Nicole, can you tell us more about the funding Art at the Centre has recently got? Yes, um, I uh, am very pleased to announce that um, after an extremely long um, uh, application process, Arts Council South East have, have decided to grant us £100,000 towards the next two years' worth of project. Um, but that is actually part of a, a much larger budget, uh, which includes money from Swellborough Council, KCC and CEDAR. So, Nicole, what is the history behind the Art at the Centre project? Well, we've been running for over six years on on the Isle of Sheppey, in spe- specifically in Queenborough and Rushenden, because that was where we initially were tasked with doing a three-year project. Um, the the initial uh, project was set up by Arts Council. Um, they'd already had a, a, a three-year group uh, happening in other areas in the southeast, and because of the su- success of that, they they commissioned uh, another. Uh, set of Art at the Centre projects, uh, w- of which Swell was one. Um, that was um, uh, 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 achieved by Swellborough Council, and that's where I came in as as art coordinator to run the initial project, which happened in Queenborough Rushenden. Then from there, um, because of the success of that free project in Queenborough Rushenden, uh, Swellborough Council decided to. Uh, try and apply for more funding to continue the good work that had been done by Art at the Centre and here we are now having achieved that funding to uh, go forward. What will the funding be used for? Um, well there's uh, in, in a nutshell it's a threefold project. Um, firstly to replace the Castle Gallery, which maybe quite a lot of your listeners might have heard of in Queenborough, we've decided to go for a mobile space. Um, this is because um, because now the project is swale-wide, um, it would be useful to have an exhibition come workspace um, where we can hold events and lectures and all sorts of things um, that could travel all over the borough. So rather than getting all the artists to have to come to one area and one area only this this mobile space will allow for the for the projects to come to the people making it more accessible more accessible exactly um we haven't exactly decided the route of which the mobile space will take yet we also have to commission the mobile space because we would like it to be designed by uh creative uh designers uh, maybe architects or artists so that the outside appearance of it was also very imaginative and inspiring um, and generally the route is going to be targeting the regeneration areas of Swale. That includes Milton Creek, Laysdown, Queenborough and Sheerness. But there, there might be other locations. It, we want to be responsive to what is happening in the community. The second layer is, is the studios. Um, they will be a, sh- a small unit, comparatively speaking to other studios, um, based in Queenborough, because that is where we'd like our hub to remain. Um, and they will be made of what used to be shipping containers that have been altered into uh, live workspaces. Um, and they there will be about four of them. Um, and then on top of that, to to coincide with where the mobile space might be travelling to, we want to run a series of temporary public art installations. Um, and those will be roughly, but this is very estimate, cost between five and ten grand each and roughly about four a year. But it depends on, yet again, where we're travelling to and what it, what seems appropriate for those areas. So... Um, the, the the commissions and the ideas will be surfacing shortly once we've discussed with the groups what we want to do, basically. We are joined with Nicole Mallet and we're talking all about art at the centre and the funding they've recently received.